Welcome to Daniel's Prayer Program. The Bible says in Psalm 28 verse 7, The Lord is my strength and shield. I trust Him with all my heart. He helps me and my heart is filled with joy. I burst out in songs of thanksgiving. For our first prayer item, let's pray for our medical workers to be protected and sustained with strength every day. Let's all pray fervently and with joy. Heavenly Father, we come before you. In the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ, your Son. Pray, God, for our medical workers, God. Our doctors, God. Let your protection be upon them. The practitioners, God. Medical technologists, God. Those especially, God, in the quarantine facilities. Even getting vaccination sites. Father, we pray for your supernatural protection upon them. We will not get infected, oh God, in Jesus' name. Lord, give them strength, protection, oh God, wisdom, God, on how to go about doing their work concerning this kind of a time of pandemic. Lord God, we thank you that those who already are infected, that are doctors or nurses, we pray that they'll be healed in Jesus' name, that they'll be delivered completely in Jesus' name. Father, thank you for your provision for them, God. Strength that every day, they will not give up, but they will Lord continue, God, God to work hard in terms, God, of the nation, and more especially in serving you, Father. Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus. They'll be given support, God, well, good support, oh God. The allowances are supposed to be given to them, released to them, oh God. Oh, Lord, we thank you that they transport themselves to their home, to the hospital, God, to their facilities. We pray for favor. We pray, God, for their safety. Them, God, they will be well in the name of Jesus. God, so of grace, you, Father, for your grace. Thank you, God, in Jesus' name, all shall be well for them. And that they will succeed in their individual purposes, God. Whether that be a nurse in taking care of people, doctors, God, in treating them, God. All the office workers in the hospitals, and give them security, God. Thank God for those, God, in the entrances of the facilities, God, the guards. We pray for them to be safe to strengthen the God, to fail God with hope, God, and faith. God, we thank you for your love and grace, Lord, that they shall all be well, God, and shall be well for them, God. In the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. And for our next prayer item, let us pray for our people to have wisdom and discipline in saving money. Let us all lift our voices together. Heavenly Father, we lift up our hands. Lord, this time of pandemic, we know God that you are blessing them, that you are blessing us, Lord, this time of God. Lord, and we could imagine that you are blessing them to come from you. Study your word, Lord, and perfect gift comes from you. Financially, thank you, God. You are meeting all of our needs. We are dying, Lord God. All the needs of all the members. And we know God because you are the same. You have said in your word on the mountain of our discipline. Father, we also pray for wisdom that we reach our Father and let us be able to save money to choose Lord God to have the discipline of saving money. Because we believe that in your word says God that by little you make things good. We pray, Lord, help us to the discipline. Are you able, Lord, to make money even at this time? Because this is a time Lord, God, that we can see the conviction of the righteous as you bless us, O God. Help us to be good stewards of all the blessings. Lord, to be able to save money, Lord God, this time as you bless us to receive favor and a common favor in every way, O God. Be Lord, that will be able. Our people be able to get money. Our people, Lord God, will continue to pray for us, O God. To church, prepare, Lord, they work hard in the things they work hard in the ability of God. Father, for your words is God that you bless the words of God. Every emotion comes from this. We will be seeing more of those things that God gave in this time. Father, God, we bless the word of God. There will be discussion for the righteous. The righteous will be blessed in every way. We believe the stability of our times, O God, is in your presence. 
power the stability of our country. There's too much of that. Lord, 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 Lord
you lot of people, Lord God, that you're part of a go group. Thank you, Father, that you are causing, Lord God, a lot of people to be saved, Lord God. You can reach out to those who are far away, abroad, oh God, the provinces, Lord and Savior. Lord God, we thank you now that in the name of Jesus, in the future we can have a they will be Thank you, Father, for your goodness. Salvation, Lord God. Thank you, God, for the great commission. Salvation, be fulfilled, Lord God. Lord, you we become part of a global Bible study. Good stewards of the church, your presence, oh God. We be able to share your word to others. Amen. We thank you. Amen and amen. And now for our last prayer item, let us pray for wisdom and guidance for our government leaders in protecting and growing our nation. So let us all pray. Father, right Father now, God, Father, thank you, God. We lift up to you, Lord God, our God, people, you are God, and you are the government, O God. God. Thank, thank you for, thank God for wisdom, wisdom and guidance to our government leaders, our president, to the government officials, Lord God, of our nation. Let your wisdom be upon them, as you have said in your word, and you are not least of us. We ask you, Lord God, who gives to us generous wisdom, without giving us, and it will be given for us. We know, Lord, that you are the one, O God, Establish good health the government, these leaders, O God. Let there be a heart to focus God on serving the nation. After your own heart, Lord God, taking care, Lord God, of our nation, of our people, let us grow our nation, O God, and live up to you all of our concerns and what we want. leaders to really be able to function. There will be no corruption, Lord God, but all the budget, Lord God, will be given. Even, especially in the hospitals, give Lord God, you dash the We pray, Lord, that all of these things, everything, Lord God, thank you so much for those taking care of Lord God, all the needs in the name of Jesus. We lift this up to we know God that it's already working on behalf of your people, God. We thank you, Lord, because we know that you are always Lord God there, you can answer our prayers. Even if some God serves our nation, we will be glad that you are a blessed nation and have all of our nation, God. Like our nation, God. God. We thank you, Lord, that you will guide our government people. Guide them so much that they may not understand what to do, O God, to do something like that. But if you guide them in every way, give them the wisdom, the creative ideas, how to be able to help, Lord, our people. We thank you, Lord, for all of this. We know, Lord, that you are more than we have in the lives of God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Thank you, Father. Name be lifted up. The nation continues to grow. Serve your living God. Leaders of God. Our government leaders. As they continue to serve the people. We pray that the Lord is going to be the Lord. We pray that the Lord is going to be the Lord. We pray that the Lord is going to be the Lord. We pray that the Lord is going to be the Lord. We pray that the Lord is going to be the Lord. We pray that the Lord is going to be the Lord. We pray that the Lord is going to be the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. We would like to thank you for joining us in this time of fervent prayer. Daniel's prayer program airs at 5:45 in the morning, 11:45 near noon time, and at 8:45 in the evening from Mondays to Fridays. God bless you all.